After spending a bunch of time in Nairobi, more videos on that to come, we were ready to get out and do something very different. Something we hadn't done for more than two years. So we're at the Nairobi Terminus and we're leaving for Mombasa. This reminds me a lot more of an airport than a train station. Like this really feels like an airport. It's a huge, huge building. But the interesting thing is there's several choices for food here. They come right to you while you're sitting in these airport chairs. I'm trying to imagine like in an American airport, like there being that level of service. It's non-existent. I've never been in a train in the US. Mostly I've, I've never been in New York, so I wouldn't know how a train works. We started moving, so we can't get off anymore. You were just screaming half a second ago. It was a really long train ride. Seats were a little hard, but at least there was a lot of legroom and luggage space. We arrived in Mombasa to find a terminal surprisingly like the Nairobi one. We made our way out of the building and to the parking lot where our car service was waiting for us. Yes, after spending six hours on the train, it was now time to spend another two hours in the car. But why are we going through all this? Where exactly are we going? Well, we're heading to Watamu now. Yes, Watamu, a beautiful small coastal town about 105 kilometers north of Mombasa. I think I'm like really tired until I get there. Once you get there, you'll stop being tired. So we were just took off for days. We didn't pay the premium service, we paid the cheaper service. But that's a new thing for me. Never been cut off my seat for not paying enough for a job before. First time for everything. To be clear, this is the Kenyan coast. It is extremely hot, but fortunately that ride didn't last forever, and soon, we made it! We made it here! So this is where we're going to spend this weekend and we're so grateful that today we're going to stay at Salama House. Come over! So as soon as you walk into this house, you have this beautiful patio out here where you can get to relax and chill and everything here is very well thought of. You can see all the beautiful art here. This is so beautiful. Look at all this. So you can get and chill and relax here as you enjoy the Watamu weather. Watamu in Swahili means sweet. Maisha ni tamu Watamu. Let's go see the rest of the house. I guess you have here an outdoor seating where you can sit here in the morning and enjoy morning breakfast or dinner, however you'd like it. Let's go see inside. So, you walk in and you have this really beautiful sitting area and you have this beautiful, authentic, giving Swahili, I'm gonna say Swahili vibes chandelier. Look at this. See this in your house, it's so perfect. Look at the ceiling. You have the big, beautiful, open kitchen. Everyone loves a good open kitchen. Here at Salama House, the kitchen is fully stocked, meaning you have the small utensils that you need, you have the ingredients that we need to make a meal too. So this is really nice. If you've been staying in a lot of Airbnbs, you know how it's very important for your host to have a full, very equipped kitchen. And we're so grateful because we're traveling with a baby and we have a full fridge. We have a beautiful counter here, oh my God. Outside the kitchen, you kind of have another veranda out the back backyard. There's a washing machine, so this place is very equipped for long stays. So right behind me are the two small bedrooms that I told you about. So let's start with one of them and then head to the other one. One of the many things I love about this place is this place has air conditioner, which is so, so important. 
when you're in the coast big large windows you get a chair there to hang out more wardrobe if you have a lot of clothes like diana and all these rooms are very nicely decorated and then this is the second room same as the other one big rooms ac equipped and you get a big closet every room has a fan this is the master and suite and this is kind of a bigger room you have a really nice big bed of course coastal design on top of your bed you get a workstation here and then also a big closet here oh my god you know Deanna loves a good mirror so this is our bathroom so you got the toilet and then uh, oh we love a flower in the bathroom oh yeah and we forgot to mention this little detail So they have this place that's built up just above the pool where you can come here and it's very well stocked with yoga mats. They have this beautiful mat that you can sit here and like enjoy your coffee, enjoy your morning talk with friends. They also have a hammock. And this hammock is um, the flag of Kenya. After arriving, it took us until the next evening to go exploring because nobody wanted to get out of the pool. And even after getting out of the pool, nobody wanted to get unrelaxed. But we eventually powered through, and I went for my first tuk-tuk ride. And as much as we love Salama House, it was really great that we got out to experience this. rushing to go to the beach because we want to catch sunset although we're like really really we kind of miss sunset but we just have to be on the beach our last night our last night it's kind of so it's, it's sad but you know and then good thing is that our Airbnb Salama house is very very close to the beach so yes so we partnered with Salama house for this video and for our stay here but completely outside from that None of us wanted to leave, so we actually ex made an extension. And we were supposed to leave on Monday. We were supposed to leave two days ago, but we actually booked an extension. Remember when we were back in Pitali, like there was like Mganga sign. Mganga, Mapenzi, Biashara, Tego, and Kazi. This is even better. It's like Mganga wa Mapenzi, and you know everything in the coast is so traditional. So Mganga, Mganga, Mganga. This trip is so amazing. 
we love it and we enjoy it. And the ocean is so amazing. We love it, we enjoy it, and it's so cool. I am grateful that I'm in Watamu because of several things. First of all, I blame Doreen so much because I feel like I've been eating a lot and I am now addicted to Fanta. This specific one, pineapple, oh, so good. I really like our Airbnb. Salama House is very Salama. Salama in English means peace. And it's such a very peaceful place. 10, 15 minute walk to the beach. Very beautiful walk over there. It's a very safe place. So if you're looking for a safe place that is like you're in just in your jungle oasis, this is the place for it. I've never done this before, like going outside on a beach at night. I've never done it before. I'm always so scared because the waves are like, they scare me. First of all, I love the house, the pool. We were swimming like the whole day and the beach. We are so glad we came with you guys. We are so happy. It's really nice to just be able to take a short walk and go to the beach. It was really fun and unique to do a night beach adventure and jump in the ocean as it was getting dark and then walk back here and jump in the pool. It was a really nice festive way to celebrate our last night, give Salama House a send off. There's so many things that I enjoy about this place. Just so many special attributes. There's so many incredible places to hang out. This here is my hangout spot. It's a very, very special place and it's sad to leave. our tickets now it's time to go to NBO We have arrived at the voice station. We are stopping for five minutes. She thinks we're going to hit the other train. I don't know. I was not even thinking like that. I thought you don't get neighbors in a train. What is your opinion of this train compared to the other one? Is that is that so? So, commuter train experience was great. It was really good. Even he liked it. He's pretending like he doesn't now, but he did. Yeah. Um, the seats it, were comfortable. The seats were really comfortable. They were more comfortable than the long distance train. It helped that it's late at night and hardly anybody was on it. So we had almost a whole train car to ourselves and it was so much more comfortable than sitting in the back of an Uber. Exactly. So great experience, 50 shillings per person. If you're ever at SGR and you need to get to town, 
this is the best way to get to yes, town. Yes, do this first, then get an Uber after. It's so comfortable. So, so comfortable. It was great. Good night. Good night. See ya. So, thoughts on Nairobi at night? Nairobi at night is very scary. Mostly when a gang of people were like telling us like, we're gonna get robbed because we did not take their car. This is a real uh, Nairobi welcome, right? Seriously, we were like five people and someone was telling us that they wanted to fit us in a pass. So what we did is that we walked all the way to the Memorial Park and then we called an Uber from there. If I'm in Nairobi at night, I wanna be in a car. <laughs> Watamu, it was very relaxed, chilled. Guys, one thing. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and we will see you on our next adventure. Yeah, we almost got mugged so that we could be recording this right now. That's how much we love you guys. <laughs>